Okay. Um, yeah, before I get too chatty, uh, we can do that as well. But let's have a look at... I think I announced it last time uh, that I'm, I may have another new content type. And, well, here it is. Let's have a look at my, my next tab. Um, yeah, maybe some, some more suspense. Um, it has been requested quite often on the... Um, on the forums of HIP. And um, th I think the use case is limited, but uh, since it was requested often, well, the story is a little different. Um, and I can tell freely now. Um, I uh, work for a company that um, is called Kids Loop, and they have focus on young children. And they uh, do not only create content for young children, but they also use HIP. And they uh, also need that content type. And I ask, okay, um, you have created it. Uh, could we make like a public version with a stripped down version? And we'll have a look at the differences in a second. But they said yes. And I think there is some just some um, business administration like stuff that is preventing it to be released. But um, I guess that will be done soon. So let's have a look what it actually is. So drum roll. And here it is. It is a, a jigsaw puzzle. So it's pretty straightforward. Not much that I have to explain, I guess. So uh, first of all, maybe go to full screen first. So it has a full screen mode, which absolutely makes sense if you're running it on a small device like a smartphone. Uh, because you could try to do it, uh, of course, but uh, if you have a system around it and then you have a small screen, it might get a little tricky. But um, uh, what else do we have? We have puzzle tiles or puzzle pieces. So um, we can drag those and I guess sound should be working. So you may have heard that it made us... I just noticed my mic might be a little loud. Let's turn it down a little. Um, it made a sound when I picked it up. When I drop it somewhere where it's not supposed to be, it also makes a sound, like a bad sound. And But I drop it here, this is pretty simple, of course. And it will won't, won't make this this ugly noise. So it make, just makes a dropping noise. And, um, oh, that was wrong. Yeah, let me create a great video where you see me finishing a puzzle. Um, we could do it differently. So I could do it all the time, but I could also click on complete. Um, and you hear another sound, and then it completes the puzzle itself. But of course, um, you can uh, do that yourself. If you don't like the sound, you can deactivate it. So now I'm going to retry. The sound is gone. So, um, yeah. It's, not, it, it's a puzzle. Well, that's what it is. It's uh, nothing spectacular, but um, especially for young children, it makes sense to have it. And I guess, like, if you think of escape rooms, um, you could add that as well, um, then where you also sometimes have puzzles that you have to solve. Uh, could be more complicated, of course. Um, yeah, so speaking of complicated, let's have a look uh, what you can set in the editor in this public version. And then, then we'll have a look at what you could do with the, the uh, large version. Um, edit, that's what it's called. So we have the usual h form-based editor and, well, you can upload an image, of course. Uh, not too surprising. And you can define the number of tiles or pieces that you want to have vertically and horizontally. So four by three is, well, pretty simple. Let's make it a little more complicated. I don't know, let's say, I don't know, six by, six by five, 30 pieces. Um, maybe our children are a little older. Uh, well, then we have a sound settings. So um, you can define some sounds if you want to. We could add one when you start the puzzle and you've, you've uh, noticed the others. So when you pick up a puzzle tile, when you drop them correctly or incorrectly, you can have different sounds. And uh, if you complete the puzzle, of course, could be, I don't know, like nice music playing. And then finally, in the behavioral settings, um, we have some other options. You notice that on the left-hand side, we had the faint background, so the original uh, puzzle um yeah, well, we're showing faintly. So let's say we want to make it more difficult because in, in real life you don't have the back often. So let's um, remove that. Maybe you want to make it really complicated. Then you also remove the puzzle outlines. And um, yeah, then we have the sorting spaces. So that on the, um, we had like a 50 50 screen. So with 50% of the screen for the puzzle and 50% for. Uh, where you could sort the puzzle pieces if you wanted to. And you could set that. And you can also use the full area. So um, 
Um, that means initially the, the puzzle pieces will not cover, um, in, in, by, by default they will not cover the puzzle, but you can spread them all over the place if you wanted to, and then you could do that as well. Uh, but yeah, let's save for now, not change too much. So now you see um, much more puzzle pieces, and, and now you, you see why it might make sense to spread them all over the place, because um, there's really a lot of puzzle pieces, now 30 could be, could be too much for that. For, uh, that small screen so go to full screen a little better so and now it's really really difficult uh, because we don't see uh, what the image is supposed to be we don't see the puzzle outline so we, we, we can't guess that easily where this would have to go so we would have to choose one of those first like it would be a puzzle so this would go up here and um, then it works so that is the stripped down version um, if you want to learn uh, about a cool company, and actually because they sponsored this um, and made this freely available, not yet, but will be out soon, then you could go to kidsloop.net where you can create an account and um, there are different... Um, oh, I actually, don't, I don't know about what uh what the the, the uh, payments and the all the... Oh, what's it called in English? Damn it. Um, all the tiers, could you call that? All the tiers are, and what you can do with them. But if you log in, that is my um, my account that I use from time to time to check things. So we have a jigsaw puzzle here as well, and we can open that. And um, that, that platform, by the way, has many other cool features like uh, a live view where teachers could um, show things and they would automatically um, update on the, the user system and all kinds of things. Uh, yeah, but I also, also created this puzzle, and you see um, something else is happening here. So there's one of the pieces was jumping. Let's wait a second. So it's jumping up and down because it's called attention seeker. So maybe you don't know what to do, and uh, especially if you're, you're a young child, maybe you don't know what that is. So first of all, yeah, we're way ahead. So um, you saw it jumping up and down. So you you can here you can define uh, different attention seekers. It could jump up and down. It could wobble. It, there are some other things that you could do. So now it's jumping again, just to, to tell you, okay, there's something that you might want to do with this stuff over here, and uh, well, then you can can put the pieces where you want them to uh, where we want to put them, and then um, you also saw that other thing. Uh, it is called a hint. So um, you can define that automatically when you do nothing. Then Maybe <laughs> you... Uh, well, let's just wait. Maybe not too long. Um, I will see in a second. So now... Um, I, don't, I don't know, 10 more seconds. I think I, I set it to 30 seconds, that hint. If you don't do anything for 30 seconds, then, then you will get that hint. Okay, the, a puzzle piece should go there. And um, so uh, you have that. And you can do that as well on your own. So if you click on Show Hint... You can one of one of randomly one of the you know, the puzzle pieces will um, will be shown. Uh, it will be shown where it has to be put. But at the top, you will notice that here with this agent guy, we know three because we peaked three times. So uh, it's we peaked, and yeah, somebody kept record of that. And you also saw, see uh, a timer running down on the left. So um, uh, we, we can set the time limit, and after that time limit is used up, um, the puzzle will complete automatically, and uh, that is actually noted in the X API uh, statement, so uh, a teacher would know that you, you didn't complete uh, that puzzle, but your time ran out. And uh, same here, if you click on if you click on complete, uh, the teacher will know that how many tiles you put yourself, and um, um, how many were just uh, completed for you. And we have the full screen, and uh, we have a shuffle option, which is basically a ray try. It's called different, so we can reshuffle it. And um, yeah, if we had put some down, it's of course it's a retry. Um, yeah, we also have some more features here. Even uh, we could add uh, background music, but it comes with pre but with default sounds. You don't have to put them yourself. Um, it comes with optional background music that you could put in. Um, I did do that here. Um, yeah, so. It, the the 
a full version of that jigsaw puzzle can do lots, lots of more things, which are especially useful if you're, you're creating content for young children. But you would have to register uh, at Kidsloop to to use it, and uh, because there are some other cool features, I really recommend to do so. So um, that is uh, the jigsaw puzzle on Kidsloop, and um, yeah, I can't give you a date, but uh, this is a free version which is stripped down. It doesn't have all the features. Um, but I hope, fingers crossed, it will be available very soon. <laughs>